In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable your SSL certificate for your website. Now, this is what enables you to have a secure website. So sometimes when you go browsing on the internet, you may come across a website that isn't secure and you will see a pop-up telling you that this website is not secure and warning you if you want to continue onto this website or not. So the SSL certificate encrypts and secures your URL and it will now show your HTTPS URL with a little lock before the HTTPS. So in order to do this, right, you have to have it as an additional feature with either your domain provider or your hosting provider. Most domain and or hosting providers provide this SSL certificate. Now, in the previous videos in this series about buying your domain name and buying your hosting, I bought my domain name with Namecheap and I bought my hosting with SiteGround. Now, with the plan that I bought with SiteGround, it had the SSL certificate as a free feature added into the plan. So all I have to do now is go in and enable that SSL certificate. So the first thing you're going to do is log in to your SiteGround account. And then you're going to go on the left hand side and select websites. And then you're going to select add SSL and then you're going to select let's encrypt. This should bring you to another page where you will see SSL and then you're going to click activate. Once you click that, you will open up the SSL manager or at least this option would be opened up. And you're going to select the domain. So on my plan, I could only have one domain. So that will be the only domain that will show up. But if you have a bigger plan, you will see multiple domains showing up. Then you select the SSL and you select get. From here, you're going to go to HTTPS enforce and you're going to select enforce HTTPS. So the S is what makes it secure. So right now your website without enforcing this will have just HTTP and it would not be deemed as a secure website. So this is what you do on the hosting side. So on the site ground side, this is what you do. However, you do need to do something on the WordPress side that is on your website. So in order to log in, you can log in through the same interface through your hosting. And how you do that is go into your site ground dashboard, select websites, then website toolkit, and then WordPress admin. And the login to your WordPress website screen should show up. Then you put in your login credentials for your website, which is separate and apart from the login credentials for your hosting. And this will bring you to your dashboard. Then you're going to go to SG Optimizer. So that is the site ground optimizer. You're going to click on environment optimization, that tab. And then you're going to click on enable HTTPS. And once you do this, for me, it logged me out. So it may also log you out at this point. And once you log back in, everything should take effect. You can also Google your domain name and see if the site is now HTTPS and you're seeing the little lock appearing in front of your URL. And it should because it is not something that takes long to do as if you're pointing your DNS from your domain provider to your hosting provider. It's not a, an hour long process like that. It literally should take effect within a few minutes. And it's as simple as that. You have successfully enabled your SSL certificate and now your website is safe and secure deemed by the web or the internet or whatever you want to call it. So 
if you'd like to continue watching more videos in this series talking about how to build your website using WordPress and WooCommerce because I'm doing a mixture of the two. I'll have a online store with a blog attached to it so there's something there for everyone who wants either or. You will see the entire process as I move along and please let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you want to see from me other than my new website building series i have other tutorials on social media and business specifically in trinidad and tobago so let me know and i'll see you in my next video